the relationship between the nation's top two law officers might be broken beyond repair. The Solicitor General has hit out at the Attorney General George Brandis during a turbulent committee hearing in Canberra. He says Senator Brandis's move to restrict access to legal advice from his office is radical and a threat to his independence. A row behind closed doors has flared into open warfare. The nature of the threat is serious and substantial. I'm astonished that it has become so controversial. The Attorney General believes anyone who wants legal advice from the Solicitor General should come through his office first. Justin Gleeson sees that as a direct threat to his independence. Do I lie awake at night and think, reading this direction literally, the Attorney General could seek an injunction against me to restrain me performing my office? I do. This legal services direction, far from being a grab for power, merely gives effect to the existing law. The second law officer is also fuming that he only found out about the decision after it was made. How on earth could it have been that the one person who needed to know wasn't told? That's despite the fact the Attorney General told the Senate he did consult with the Solicitor General. Based upon the facts as I know them, the statement made to Parliament was not an accurate statement. The two men did meet last November. Mr Gleeson concedes the broader issue was discussed, but says no detail was provided until the order was issued this May. Boils down to a difference of opinion about the meaning of a word. Coalition senators were also unimpressed that Mr Gleeson discussed the change with the Shadow Attorney General Mark Dreyfus during the caretaker period without telling Senator Brandis. I consider that he ought to have done so, and I am shocked that he did not. You were just about to create a political shitstorm Senator of a size O'Connor that would suck you in. Today's hearings exposed deep divisions between the nation's two top legal officers. The Prime Minister says they can work together, but it's hard to see how. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Canberra.